was just hanging out today and I said, you know what? It's been a hot minute since I sat right here and I answered some of your cues, your questions. So here we are. We're back again for Q&A. Snapchat Q&A. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, well, you know what to do, okay? And while you're at it, you should go follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. If you do all of the above things, you're never gonna miss a Fit Tip with Wit again. You're gonna get a daily Fit Tip with Wit. So come join the Fit Fam. Okay, let's get into this Q&A. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of questions about um, the boy in all my Snapchats. In fact, I'm gonna guarantee it. So, let's begin. Are you in a cut right now, and what does that entail? I am currently not bulking, if that answers your question. I don't really like the term cut because I just live a very balanced and healthy lifestyle. Do I have in and out every Saturday still? Yes, but <laughs> I'm watching what I'm eating really well. I'm just making sure that I'm in the right zone Yeah, I'd like to shed a few LBs from the winter bulk, but I'm not considering it a cut Hey, wait, just wondering when we're gonna meet the boyfriend. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't recall you get another dog for maybe to have a little friend I would like a dog really, really, really bad. I want another dog. I already have the gender picked out. I already have the name picked out. But here's the issue. We're a package deal. And I feel like if there was Navy and the other dog whose name will not be said yet, they'll be like, okay, you're a crazy dog lady. And I would say yes. So I'd like to hide the fact that I am a crazy dog lady. So I would like to get another dog when I'm married because I already trapped him. You know? And then I'll be like, hello, we are getting another dog. Meet the other dog. Hey, Whitney. I was just wondering what you recommend to do uh, in order to lose belly fat. Thanks. Belly fat was the last thing I saw go, but that's because where I genetically store fat is in my lower belly. Some people store it in their butts, and use a lucky girl if that's the case. Cleaning up the diet, huge. 80% is diet, 20% is what you do in the gym. The biggest thing that I saw was incorporating HIT into my daily routine. Getting that heart rate up, getting that HIT in, I saw the belly flat slowly start to go. Patience is a virtue. Hey Whitney, I was wondering what you do for cheaper snacks for like a full day of school just because I'm always starving. I love the following. Greek yogurt. I get little individual containers. I love string cheese. I love taking hummus and carrots. I love celery and peanut butter. Ooh, I've been loving turkey jerky. I love taking lunch meat and some cheese and I just roll it into one little roll and then it's delicious. Fruits to go to. Hi Whitney, what is the most recent dream that you can remember or recall? This is very sensitive to me. I woke up from a nightmare just a few days ago. If you don't know, I live with three other girls and we rent and I love where I live and I love my roommates and I had a dream that we were being evicted for no reason. It was some girl who wasn't the landlord was kicking us out and I was devastated. And it's so hard to find a place that's animal friendly. So me and Navy, we were out on the street. It was... A nightmare. Hi, Rick. I just did your booty workout and I'm drinking my protein. When are we going to see a beauty video on your channel? Yes! Get fit, girl! Alright, listen. I'm not a beauty guru. I just did a get ready with me where I did my makeup. But my passion is fitness. My second passion is food. My third passion is makeup. But I don't think I'm very good at it. Does my face match my body right now? No. It doesn't. Proof that I should not be doing a makeup tutorial. <laughs> if I'm growing my arms and I kind of have stick arms, how do I maintain confidence in the gym? It's important to love your body in every stage you're in. So if you are currently trying to grow your arms because you don't love your arms and you want to add some muscles, you gotta love your arms now. And then you'll love your arms even more when you build those muscles. Once you build those muscles. <laughs> Keep in mind that we all start somewhere, so don't worry if you're still putting the muscle on. Keep confident, you're gonna achieve your goals. Also, don't give up on yourself, okay? Why did you name your dog Navy? I named my dog Navy after your Navy. Ah! I was at a loss of what to name my little pooch. And so then my roommate of the time, her name is May, 
Lynn. She just started spewing off names and then she said Navy and I said, wait, that speaks to me. I like blues and I love Navy. I also felt that it was necessary to torture him by giving him a girl's name, but he forgave me, huh? Yeah, you forgave me. How do you stay motivated to stay on like your meal plan or like your diet plan? That's the hardest part about this lifestyle for me is remaining strong. I'm a big believer in meal prep. I think it's gonna help you stay focused and in the zone. If it's there and it's ready, you're more likely to eat that than go to the store and buy garbage. Another thing that motivates me is when I eat healthier, I feel better inside and out. I notice huge changes in my body, so when I want those Sour Patch watermelons, I remember the way I will feel, which will not be good after I devour the entire bag. So, Also, another thing that really helps me is I reward myself. I'll say, alright Winnie, you eat healthy today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, guess what's gonna happen, girl? You're gonna get that in and out. What is your current muscle group split? Thank you. I talked about this in my Get Ready With Me, so go watch that. Nothing has changed. Same split. In your Hawaii vlog, you mentioned that you were in an unhappy place last year. What advice do you have for people that are going through the same thing? Oh, that's a good question. If you were going through the same thing that I was going through a year ago, where life is just not making you the happiest, there's something making you unhappy, the biggest piece of advice I can give you is do your best to stay positive. Find the good things every single day. If you count your blessings rather than complain about the bad things, you're gonna find that you got a lot of blessings. If you're waking up in a bed with a roof over your head, blessed. Life can be so dang hard and so dang challenging, but it's, it's important to stay positive. Another huge thing you need to do is work towards what you want most. I despised my job. I was unhappy. I woke up every day. I still went to that job. I had a smile on my face, but I knew in the back of my head as soon as I was off, I was off work, I was back home, I was going to work towards my dream and my goal, and that was me posting YouTube videos and trying to inspire just one person. Hi. When you started YouTube, did you think that you would be this big? No. <laughs> Not at all. I laugh about this all the time with my mom. My goal, I started YouTube January of 2016 and my goal by the end of that year was to have 30,000 subscribers. If you have a dream, if you want to do something, go after it. Put all of your passion and your love into it. You never know what might come of it. I promise you, my goal for the year was to hit 30,000 subscribers. I never thought I would be here. I cry all the time. Ask anyone I know. I cry daily because I feel so fortunate to be where I am. I feel so fortunate to be around so many women every day who inspire me every single day. For the first time in my life, I feel like I have girlfriends. I love it. Hey Whitney, happy belated birthday. I was just wondering how your love life is going these days. Oh. <laughs> Thanks girl. Meg Chapman, girl. All I can say is it's new. It's very new. I'm happy. That's all I can say. <laughs> He's definitely gonna watch that. That's awkward. What are your tips for starting YouTube and getting a good following on Instagram and stuff? And YouTube, love you! If you want to start a YouTube channel, my biggest piece of advice, just do it. You don't need a crazy camera. You don't need crazy lights. Go back to my very first video. It's not good. Stay consistent inspire do it because you love it people will see that people will see how genuine you are if you love something with your whole heart and soul with every fiber in your body my biggest regret is not starting soon enough i did not start out of pure fear that people would harass me and make fun of me hey what would you ever do a bodybuilding competition i've answered this before not my forte i got into this lifestyle just because i love it the only person i'm competing against is myself also, I don't have the mental strength to do a competition. I see those women out there killing it, killing it in their diet, killing it in their workouts, and you know, I just, I'm not strong enough up here. The gym is my therapy, so I don't see myself ever doing a competition. What are your favorite shoes to train with for like? I recently switched to Converse on leg day, 
and the difference is phenomenal. I've been loving it. It's a very flat surface. It helps you engage more of your glutes and your hamstrings as you're lifting. I've worn Converse three leg workouts in a row now. I have been sore every single day. That is rare. With me, I was wondering if you were going to go to any Fit Expos coming up um, soon or next year. I just got invited to go to the Body Power Expo. Ooh, ooh, it's going to be my first expo. I'm so nervous. I'm so scared. I'm going to be going with Gymshark. <sighs> I sighted. I went. I love you. Oh my girl, this is my girl. When are you coming to Cincinnati so I can meet you and we can be best friends and love each other? My mom asks me this every day. When am I going home next? I actually have no idea. Usually I plan a trip home in the spring and in the fall. So hopefully this spring sometime I'll be home to Ohio. Should we do a meetup? I don't know. Let me know. Question. Um, are you ever planning on doing a collab with Nikki B or Jazzy Poop? I love them and I love you, so that'd be awesome. If Nikki B and Jazzy Poo ever wanted to do a collaboration with me, Little Whitney, I would be more than honored. I would probably cry. I would cry myself to sleep. I love them as much as you guys do. They are goals. They are funny. They are beautiful. They are inspiring. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. You know what to do if you did. Okay, help a girl out. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a Fit Tip with Wit again. And until next time, I will see you next time. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to Chipotle with the dude that I am dating. Love you. <laughs>